question for everybody. And I would like a show of hands. Okay. Has anyone here ever had that experience where you've had so much going on in your life, you feel overwhelmed, it's like you feel you can't cope, but you keep... <laughs> Just wait a bit. <laughs> you feel like... Um, you can't cope, but you, you just keep going ahead, you cope and you cope and you cope. You stay strong and, and um, you do all those things you feel you need to do. Then all of a sudden, there can be one little thing happens and you hit that brick wall. You know, that one little thing in normal circumstances you just breeze past, but when it sits on top of all that mess and stuff, it just, it slams you. Okay, and you say, you know, I can't do this anymore. It's just too much. So now the show of hands. Okay, those who didn't put your hands up, you're telling porkies. <laughs> okay. So. So this morning, I just want to introduce you to a lady. Her name's Heather. She's a mum. She's a wife. And she's a YouTuber. She has a, um, a YouTube channel. It's called the... The Needy Homesteader, and that's spelled K-N-E-A-D-Y, Homesteader. And she brings things like um, food preservation, cooking and gardening, and I've been watching her for a, quite a few years. So um, a lot of people got make, have YouTube channels that it's their income and all that sort of stuff. Anyway, but more importantly, Heather is a follower of Jesus. Anyway, in February 2021... Heather's life was turned upside down. And I won't say too much, but just for context, over the past three years since that time in February 21, Heather has shown herself to be very a very strong lady. But then, a couple of months ago, only just recently, she hit her own brick wall. So this morning, what we've got, we've got two videos. Um, the first one... It basically gives an overview of Heather's story since um, over the last three years since that day in February. And the second is just recently when she's hit that brick wall, it's her testimony. It's very raw. It's not pretty. It's not like she's out there giving a, a talk anywhere. This is just her sitting in her lounge room telling you what's happening for you, her in that moment. Okay, so and it's very raw, but it's also it's a testament to, I believe, her courage, but also to our very faithful God. So I hope that um, Heather's story will be something that encourages you. It was for me, and like I said, it's it's not pretty. There might be some bits that you might find a bit ick, but it's what it's real. Okay, so I'll leave that with you.